Public Relations Officer of the Joint Negotiating Team, Brian Grimes, confirmed the news that the agreement on payments to public officers was officially signed today. He congratulated those involved in what he now describes as a win-win for all after an arduous process. Um, it was painstaking in terms of the, the back and forth uh, between government and the negotiating team, um, but we have arrived at a point um, where we have um, had a solid and official agreement to go forward with. I would just like to congratulate both the joint negotiating team right, and the government and the government negotiating team um, for their part in this, um, what I would say, a win for public officers. Um, I'd like to congratulate both parties because this could not have happened without um, you know, due consideration from both sides and both sides um, making compromises. Public officers will receive a one-off payment of $1,000 for the period 2013 to 2016 during the structural adjustment period, as well as the negotiated increase. The payments are to be made in April. These monies would be paid at the end of April. Um, it has been circulated in the media that the monies would be paid at the end of March, but this is not so. Graham says now that salary negotiations have ended, they are moving forward with other issues, including pension and gratuity payments for public officers. Right? Um, public officers would have spoken about this time and time again. Um, this pension issue would have been around in excess of three decades, over 30 years. Successive governments would have tried and would have failed to rectify the problem and bring a resolution to the problem. What we have had is rhetoric. Um, I would like to commend this government because um, this government um, via our Minister of Finance, um, our Prime Minister, would have put their legacy, their reputations on the line and given assurance that um, within a year and a half that the pension issue would be resolved. Right? So we commend them for that, that oral agreement to do so. But the Public Workers Union wants to make it abundantly clear that it will take more than oral agreement to do so. We need action. In fact, um, our newly elected executive um, via our president-elect, um, Sister Rachel Roberts, um, she has put that at the pinnacle as far as what um, the achievements of the union and what they want to do on behalf of workers and behalf of the people in the country. Joseph McKee-Smith, GBN News.